people the best. I just 16, 17. That is awesome. <laughs> Get drunk with a teenager. They can drink me under the table. It makes me feel secure about my alcoholism. I got a lot of young friends. I got a friend of mine. She's so cute. She's only 22. How precious is that? And I love her. She's about to graduate business school. This is her last semester. And she called me because she wants advice on how to go out and get a job. That's my girl. I gave her good advice. I told her, this is what you got to do, all right? You gotta call someone else. <laughs> I can't help you with that. Or you can talk to my husband, because he is very intelligent. He is, you're married, right? You look unhappy, you know what I mean, huh? <laughs> my husband is smart too. My husband's like, you know, it's not hard to understand business. It's really easy to understand what's going on with Wall Street. Maybe for you it is. I'm from Louisiana. I understand Bourbon Street. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, a stock market crash is just a shot I haven't tried yet. <laughs> a bailout is when your friends come to rescue you from the ugly person vulturing your ass at last call. <laughs> and a hedge fund is the money I set aside for my bikini wax. <laughs> Thank you, it's a very large fund. <laughs> It's front and back. It's a mutual fund. <laughs> I got a Brazilian dollars. <laughs> I never even had a good job. I never had, you look, you look like you got a good job. You got the glasses, you look really intelligent, like you got benefits and stuff like that. I never had a good job. Never, cause I got a sassy mouth. So I'd always mess up every job interview. Cause they ask you ridiculous stuff when you're looking for work, huh? Ridic like they just trying to push your buttons. They'd be like, so, uh, w what can you tell us about yourself? <laughs> How far back do I go? <laughs> I was a difficult birth. <laughs> I was a rebellious teenager, but don't worry, I worked out most of those issues with my parole officer. <laughs> I went to the University of New Orleans, so I cannot speed read, <laughs> but I can swim. <laughs> You look confused, boo. There was a hurricane. There was a hurricane. It went like this. And then it rained. Don't feel bad, you don't know what happened. It doesn't matter, you're pretty. It doesn't matter. And this is Pasadena, California. Y'all don't have hurricanes, right? Earthquakes, mudslides, floods, that kind of action. And a lot of people don't know what happened, and they really don't with a hurricane. My husband's like, well, I don't know why. People didn't just leave New Orleans. They knew there was a hurricane coming. It was all over TV for days. There's a hurricane coming. Yeah, well, you know what? People in New Orleans didn't have TVs until after the hurricane. <laughs> Ridiculous questions. That's what they ask you just because you want a job. Do you abuse drugs or alcohol? <gasps> Why would I abuse the things I love? <laughs> if we hire you, can you give us 110%? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it ain't even mathematically possible. <laughs> I don't appreciate the trick question. <laughs> See, the most I can give you is 100%, huh? And to be honest, I will probably never give you that either. I can't, I can't give 100%, I can't focus. I can't, I have very bad ADD. Do you have it too? You're giggling, you got the ADD, huh? I didn't used to have it, my husband gave it to me during sex. He did, he banged me stupid. That was a good first date, that's awesome. I love my husband, I got a good one. You got a good husband? He looks like a good dude. I love my man. And then we had a baby too, so now, you know, there's the baby. Do you wanna meet my baby? Y'all, he's cute, I can go get him, he's in the car. I can go get him. <laughs> I'm not a bad mama, there's a pit bull watching him. I didn't leave him alone. I love my baby, but I hated being pregnant. It's awful! It's awful. Being pregnant sucks! You cannot drink for nine months! 
At least not in public, that's trashy. And they rock, but like, you know, after they leave you, you get the muffin top. Cause that's where they live in for like, you know, like six or seven months. So you get the muffin top. Do you even know what that is, princess? You're real tiny. It's like, no, nah, I don't eat carbohydrates. This is California, chuckle bitch. <laughs> it's a muffin top. That's what you call it when your fat rolls over your pants. It's a muffin top. Cause it's America, I ain't gonna do a sit up. I'm gonna call my stuff something cute. I got a blueberry crumble. And my husband's so smart. He's like, you know, you could get rid of that if you really want to. It's very easy. All you have to do if you want to lose the muffin top is stop drinking beer. <laughs> what am I supposed to do for breakfast? <laughs> but it's hard to feel sexy when you got the muffin top, especially when there's so many beautiful women. You know, and my friend's so cute. She's 22, she's young. She got that optimism. She's like, you know, if you want to feel really good about yourself, all you have to do is go to Victoria's Secret and get some sexy lingerie. You get a sexy lingerie you parade around for your man. It makes you feel good. I can't do that. You can do that. You can do that. Little young hottie totties, go to Victoria's Secret, get that sexy lingerie. I skipped that. I went to Home Depot and bought a dimmer switch. <laughs> I did, I was like, click, 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 click. Hey, I'm done. <laughs> and I am done. Thanks for coming out. I'm Lisa Landry. <laughs>